Marin to sign AJ Pollock, a one year, $7 million deal. So, as a fourth outfielder or guy just platoon and start versus lefties, it's a good deal here for the Seattle Mariners. So, last season with the White Sox, 14 home runs, 56 RBI, 61 runs scored, three stolen bases, a 245 average, and a 292 on base and 489 at bats for AJ Pollock. So, Pollock, like I said, he mashes lefties. We know he's still a pretty decent fielder. That could play center and left field, but more of a left fielder than anything. And I'm surprised he was out here in free agency this long here. So the Mariners, they're going for it once again. Traded for Toscar Hernandez early in the offseason. Resigned Luis Castillo. And now you sign AJ Pollock, who's a good veteran here. As long as he stays healthy, could put up numbers and be productive. And like I said, this is a good move. So in terms of fantasy baseball, he's probably a guy in the later rounds I would target here as AJ Pollock. But like I said, he'll show you some power. He'll steal some bases. And he's a guy, I know he's not getting on base as much, but he'll have that 240, 250 batting average. But if he gets an opportunity, it's a possibility he could hit 20, 25 home runs if he plays pretty much every day. So A.J. Pollock, after a decent season with the White Sox, only gets the one year, which I'm surprised because the injury history most likely. And we'll see what he could do for the Mariners and fantasy owners in the upcoming 2023 season.